and LT. Previous slide slide 1 of 4 next slide and GT. The Home Depot rental truck used when a terrorist plowed down bike riders on Tuesday, October 31, 2017. The New York Police Department reported one man was in custody after initial reports of gunfire set off a mad scramble in the downtown area. Carolyn Cole, Los Angeles Times, TNS, New York Safelo Sapoff knew his way around motor vehicles, although he was only 22 years old and couldn't speak English. The Uzbek immigrant who is now suspected of killing eight people in Manhattan was quick off his feet after arriving in the United States in 2010. Although he moved frequently, he was clear that his career path was in driving. He tried to start at least three trucking companies, two in Ohio and one in Florida and in the past year had started driving for Uber. Sapov arrived in the United States through John F. Kennedy Airport in 2010 and found temporary housing with fellow Uzbek immigrants near Cincinnati, who were acquainted with his father. The following year, he registered his first company, Safe Motors at their address in Sims Township, Ohio, signing the documents of incorporation with the Ohio Secretary of State in tidy cursive handwriting. Two years later, he registered yet another trucking company called Bright Motors at another Ohio address in Cuyahoga Falls, near Cleveland. He then moved to Tampa, FLA, to start yet another company he always used to work. He wouldn't go to parties or anything. He only used to come home and rest and leave and go back to work. Dilnoza Abdesamitova, a family friend, told the Cincinnati Inquirer, Sapov's father in Uzbekistan had asked Abdesamitova's father if the young man could live with them after his arrival in the United States. He apparently stayed only a few weeks before moving on. He married a 19-year-old fellow Uzbek in 2013 and listed his occupation on the marriage certificate as truck driver. Sapov moved frequently. After Cincinnati, he lived near Cleveland, then Tampa, where he obtained his Florida driver's license. Most recently he was living in Patterson, N.J., miles from New York City and driving for Uber. He rented the Home Depot truck used in Tuesday's attack in Passaic, N.J., near his home. The 29-year-old plowed the truck down a bike path in the Tribeca neighborhood of Lower Manhattan on Tuesday afternoon, killing eight cyclists and pedestrians. After exiting the truck and brandishing a paintball gun and a pellet gun, he was shot in the abdomen by an off-duty police officer. He is expected to survive. A note was found near the truck stating that the attack was conducted on behalf of Islamic State. Although Sapov seemed purposeful in becoming a driver, there is no indication that he had planned to deploy a truck as a weapon at the time he arrived in the United States. The occupation is common for Uzbek immigrants, who are well represented in the trucking, moving and car services. A fellow Uzbek immigrant said that there was nothing about Sapov to raise alarms. He is a very good guy. He is very friendly. He is like little brother. He look at me like big brother. A friend, Kobil John Matkarov, told the New York Post. The only thing that stood out as odd was that once, in June, when one of Matkarov's children asked to take a photo with Sapov, he adamantly refused. He told the Post. Authorities believe Sapov was radicalized in recent years and did not come to the United States with terrorist intent. After he came to the United States is when he started to become informed about ISIS and radical Islamic tactics. New York Gov. Andrew Cuomo told CNN on Wednesday, using an acronym for Islamic State, all the evidence we have is that he was a quote-unquote lone wolf model. Cuomo said, he has had several run-ins with the law which were basically minor vehicular traffic. The New York City Police Department has been on alert for years about the possible use of trucks in terrorist attacks. At a news conference Tuesday evening, John Miller, 
Deputy Commissioner for Intelligence and Counterterrorism, said the department had conducted extensive outreach to truck rental companies. The effort was prompted by a series of truck attacks in Europe and by a 2016 article in Rumia, an online magazine used by Islamic State, that encouraged terrorists to attack New York's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Miller said the police department visited over 148 truck rental locations including some home depots advising them of suspicious indicators and ways to come forward with information. Miller said officials again conducted outreach following the attacks in Berlin and Nice, France. In 2016, the industry has had a high level of awareness on this matter. Miller said, It was not clear whether the 148 locations included the Home Depot where Sapov rented the truck. The use of trucks in terrorist attacks in New York City dates back before the rise of Islamic State. In 1993, terrorists used a ride or truck rented in New Jersey to detonate a bomb from a parking garage underneath the World Trade Center, killing six and injuring more than one. Oh, oh, oh. Times staff writer Nina Agrawal contributed to this report.